Well, hello and welcome to our Daily Kids Bible reading for Friday. Great to see you. We're going to be continuing with Mark's story of Jesus. And today we're in Mark chapter 8. Now chapter 8, the start of it, sounds a little bit like chapter 6. And if you've been with us since at the start of these readings, you might think, we've done, we've done this one, but we haven't. There's a few little differences that we're going to think about together. So we're in Mark chapter 8, and I'm going to be using these table talk notes, which are available from the Good Book Company. And they have a quarter of a page each day that you might go through with a family, but I'm going to go through them uh, with you uh, if that's helpful. So we're in Mark chapter 8, and we're going to read verses 1 to 10 today. Here it is. During those days, another large crowd gathered, since they had nothing to eat. Jesus called his disciples to them and said, I have compassion for these people. They have already been with me three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them home hungry, they will collapse on the way because some of them have come a long distance. His disciples answered, But where in this remote place can anyone get enough bread to feed them? How many loaves do you have? Jesus asked. Seven, they replied. He told the crowd to sit down on the ground. When he had taken the seven loaves and given thanks, he broke them and gave them to his disciples to distribute to the people, and they did so. They had a few small fish as well. He gave thanks for them also and told the disciples to distribute them. The people ate and were satisfied. Afterwards, the disciples picked up seven basketfuls of broken pieces that were left over. About 4,000 were present. After he had sent them away, he got into the boat with his disciples and went to the region of Dalmanutha. Do you see, today's story is very similar to last time. Because last time there were 5,000 people, 5 loaves, 2 fish and 12 basketfuls left over. But can you see the differences in today's story? How many people was it? Well, verse 9, do you see? It was about 4,000. How many pieces of bread? Well, look at verse 5. How many loaves do you have, Jesus asked? Seven, they replied. Uh, there was a, How many fish? Well, it says there was a, a few fish. And how many basketfuls were left over? Well, there were seven basketfuls left over. So a few little differences with the story there. But did you know there was one big difference as well? And that big difference is that last time at the feeding of the 5,000, the crowd were mostly Jewish. And this time at the feeding of the 4,000, well, the crowd are mostly Gentiles. Do you remember that word? Gentiles means the non-Jews. A couple of days ago, we were thinking about that woman who was a Gentile woman. And she realized that Jesus had come for everyone. And this miracle here gives even extra weight to that argument. It says, yes, Jesus has come because he fed 5,000 people, the Jewish people. And here he is doing another miracle, just the same, for the Gentile people. Jesus has come for everyone. And he's displaying his power, his power over nature, for everyone to see. It's great, great news. Did you see as well why Jesus had done the miracle? Did you see it in verse 2? He said, I have compassion for these people. Jesus' compassion was for the Jewish people. His kindness and his warmth towards them was for the Gentile people as well. His compassion for them. It's amazing news that Jesus has compassion for everyone. And his love is open to us all. It's great, great news. Now, there's a little suggestion for prayer here. So we're going to pray um, that... We're just going to pray thanks to God that Jesus came for everyone. And in line with the thought for the day, we'll pray for church families and how they're coping with the lockdown. So let's pray together. Father God, we praise you and thank you that Jesus came for everyone. That he came for me, for us, for everyone we know. Thank you so much that that is true. Thank you that he has compassion on each of us. And Father, we pray to you for church families um, who may be struggling during the lockdown. Uh, please help them to do homeschooling well. Please help them to uh, not get on each other's nerves. 
Uh, and Father, pray that family time together would be a really great thing. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Well, it's Friday, so I've written uh, another poem for us. Um, so here it is. The four thousand had nothing to eat. As told, they all took a seat. So as Jesus willed, they were all greatly filled. Another incredible feat. I like those kind of, is it a limerick, those kind of poems there? Um, it's just a, a little thing to help us think about the amazing thing that Jesus did. He fed those Gentile people as well as he had fed the Jewish people. Great, great news. Great news that means Jesus has come for everyone, including me and you. Now this is a reminder of the household challenge. Uh, and that is our terrific transformation. Do send in those videos, a 20 second clip. Uh, I'd love to include some of those on this little videos. Our song for today is God Is Bigger, which is from the first album by Awesome Cutlery. And it's a great song to think, to help us think that whatever is going on, whatever we're worried about, maybe those people were worried about not having enough food, well, God is bigger. It's a great song. The link is in the description at the bottom of this video again. Why not sing that as a way to finish this little devotional time together? Bye for now.